So before starting the session, so before starting the session, so let me decide what is the plan for today. So today, our focus is only what is the gaps. That is only one thing we are going to be discuss for today only. So uh, before starting, so audio is clear for all online students. Audio, video, everything is clear. So can you confirm in the chat box, please, all of you? Audio, video, everything is clear. So please, can anybody reply in the chat box? Just say hi, something. Thank you. Thanks for replying, all of you. Thanks for replying, all of you. So today our focus is only for what? DevOps. What is DevOps? We are going to be discuss for today. In tomorrow, we are going to be discussing about what is AWS. What is AWS and DevOps versus AWS. So today we're focused DevOps, tomorrow AWS and AWS versus DevOps. That is an exactly tomorrow day. Right. So before starting this session, and let us course over you. What is this course? What exactly we are going to do? Let us course over you. So this course is designed with complete DevOps, complete AWS, Linux basics, and shell script. So this four will be covered in this course. The total duration of this course is four and a half months plus, not as minus, it is plus. One week or two weeks plus or minus. Okay, it will take total duration of this course is what exactly? Four and a half months. In that 45 days, more than 45 days, we're gonna be discussing AWS. More than 75 days, we're gonna be discussing DevOps. It is a combo, we can't separate. So if you want to join in this course, which are all the prerequisitions. So Linux basics is required. If you want to join in this course, Linux basics is required that I will be covered, don't worry. Linux basics, I'm gonna be covered, don't worry. And shell script also I'm gonna be covered, don't worry. No programming like Java, .NET, Python, no programming is required. If you understand my language, English, it is more than enough. It is more than enough, please. Laptop is required to practice every day. So minimum, so 10 Pro, Windows 10 Pro. 4 GB RAM is minimum, but I recommend 6 GB. i3 is minimum. So this is an exactly your laptop configuration. So who can join in this course? Yes, freshers can join in this course. Yes, freshers can join in this course. Experienced students also can join in this course, like you know, developers, testers, AWS, admins, Linux admins, Windows admins, DB administrators, any non-IT like a chemical background, mechanical background, any degree passed out, any non-IT students also can join in this course. Graduate, any graduation. Graduation is must and should. Any graduate like BTEC, MTEC, MBA or a BSc computers, any degree, any degree is minimum qualification. So if you join in this course, which are all the benefits? If you join in this course, which are all the benefits guys, please. So daily recordings will be provided. Once if you payment done, you will daily recordings will be received after this class. After this class, you, some students may remember, some students may not be remember. Got it very clearly. But after this class, by seeing this recording, you can able to practice. My intention is providing the recording for practice only, not for saving somewhere else, for not sharing. It is student helping only. Then after reading, after uh, attending classes, after watching video, after completion of practice, still if they have any doubts and clarification, I can clarify in the next class. 
our motto is not attending classes and practicing okay that is very very important part is resume preparation after completion of this course resume preparation i'm going to be helping you interview question and answers i'm going to be providing okay for live projects will be covered including in this in this duration four and a half months it is not a separate don't expect any separate projects course itself in will i'm going to be covering four live projects for example ansible mod any mod so we are going to be start with what exactly basics understanding to advanced then end of the model we'll do one project that is a model of our classes okay Fine. 80% of soft material I will provide, not hard copy, soft copy. So our, close, our classes are start from where exactly? Very basic level. Each and every student can able to understand very easily, even non-technical non students also. And it's going to be finished with an advanced. Advanced level. So each and every class going to be explained, theoretical, understand the concept. The same thing will be reflected in a practical on the same class itself every day. That you need to practice. You have to promise yourself practice. One hour for class, minimum two hours to practice. Three hours per day you need to promise yourself before joining in this course. And after completion of this course, you will receive a course completed certificate for only freshers. Experience also get it, but don't mention anywhere. You know very well what is that. Got it very clearly. So after completion of this course, you will feel 1.5 years of experience and real experience. You can feel inside. That you can manage in your regime, that you can manage there after getting a job up to three years or 3.5 to four years also. Okay, fine. So daily, you need to attend the one hour class. It's enough. Only one hour. After the class, I will clarify questions and doubts also. One hour is more than enough. One hour is equal to five hours per day. If it is increased 15 minutes, you're going to be increased one more two hours. Okay. So completion of classes doesn't matter. We can complete within one month also. But we need to practice. That is what one hour, it will take four and a half months. duration. So our classes are Monday to Saturday. Our classes, Monday to Monday to Saturday. Sunday also sometimes we have baby monthly ones. Sunday also we have a session monthly once prior to one day I'll inform you. Prior to one day. If it is Sunday, Saturday or Friday, I'll inform you whether we have a class this Sunday or not. Okay. So you are going to be paying 12,000 rupees fee. You're going to be paying 12,000 rupees fee for what? Full DevOps course, full AWS, not for introductory way, full AWS, full complete course, and daily recording sessions also. You're going to be paying for what? Daily recording sessions also. And if you want to contact with Redmi, please use this information. Please use this. Contact our Redmi, contact information. I'm going to be sharing in the chat box. Online students, please be get it and make it somewhere else safe. And what exactly we won't be discussing four and a half months. What we are going to, what exactly guys, please. Course content link we need to require or not. So I'm going to be shared this link, course content link. In the chat box, please be use that. If you copy paste in any browser, if you copy paste any browser, that link, you can able to see the course content link. Okay. First one is what, what first document is exactly. What is a course over you? What exactly which you have discussed right now? Only same thing only. But after the class, you know, you can revise once again. Okay. Fine. The next two document is DevOps content. What exactly we are going to be discussing in DevOps? Please look at once. It is totally around maybe 20 pages of DevOps content. 20 pages of DevOps contents, guys, please. 
twenty pages of DevOps content. The same way, we have a AWS content also. We have a AWS a content also. It is around maybe nine pages or ten pages of content. Please look at one. After this session, please revise once these two documents. What we are going to be discussing in the four and a half months. So, offline students, by end of the session, you can able to take it. And please ask me; I will share it. Okay. So, this is an exactly course overview. Course overview. Shall we start a demonstration, please? Shall we start right now? Yeah. So, first, let me. introduce myself my name is maha my name is maha i have totally 15 years of experience in it my career starts as a java developer java developer then i turn as a devops engineer as well as with aws and azure also from last 5 years onwards last 5 years onwards i'm working as a devops engine senior devops engine. that is in exactly my profile before starting this so i have a three questions i'm going to be ask you please answer to me what is an application first question the second question what is a server the third question is what is sdls please answer to me what is the first question please at least read out please reply what is the first question please just type it yeah as it is what is the question please what is application just type it in the chat box guys please all of you what is an application please application is nothing but a website application is nothing but a website like a flipkart website like a flipkart like a book my show irctc these are all we are calling as what application so if you ask me definition point of view if you ask me what is an application if it is ask me definition the working software the working software which is written any programming like java dotnet python any programming any programming we call as what application so I'll let me repeat one more time what is an application please the working software which is written any programming language we call as what application am i right or wrong so after we have a developers or not have you heard about develop java developers dot net developers or not so after writing the lines of code which you are calling a software you know the software we are going to be placed on server side we are going to be placed on server side once if it is placed on server side after writing software the software is going to be placed on where <coughs> server side then there itself we are going to be accessing what exactly as a website got it very clearly so what is an application the working software which is written any programming language that application we are going to be placed on where exactly on hundreds of servers once if it is placed once if it is placed our java application on server side then there itself we are going to be accessing over internet as a website as a website got it very clearly what is an application we understood what is a server also server for what for maintaining our applications only for deploying our applications only. but what about next question is pending guys please tell me what is sdlc so what is sdlc please how many people aware of this how many people know about this online students can able reply how many of you know about this how many of you know how many of you don't know can you reply please if you know say yes sir i i know it if you don't know so no i don't know can you reply in the chat box all of you Can I reply, guys? Please, all of you. What is SDLC? Who knows? Who don't know? Because if you, if you, if you reply, I, I can explain more about this. Everybody knows it. We can move forward. That's that is the reason. I think 
somebody somebody is no somebody is don't know but let us discuss about this what is sdlc guys please sdlc in the sense of what software development life cycle first dlc is nothing but what software development life cycle by using sdlc by following sdlc process by following sdlc process we are going to be produce a software by end of this sdlc we can able to produce a software the software we are going to be placed on server side then we are going to be accessing as what application understood very clearly in sdlc in sdlc we have a several stages and several phases several stages and several phases in sdlc we have a analysis design implementation testing deploy and maintenance we have a several stages and several phases several stages and several phases so let us understand what is this role let us understand let us understand what exactly what is role the phases and stages for example i want to build a flipkart kind of application i want to build a flipkart kind of applications can able to build this overnight within a day overnight can able to get this flipkart kind of applications please tell me no we can't do so i am going to be ask you one more question please answer to me can able to build a apartment overnight within a day can able to build no the same way we can't able to build our websites also if you want to construct the house we need to follow so many stages and it will take 6 months sometime one year also we need to follow so many stages and then only we can able to complete what our apartment or home what i mean the same way our website also if you want to construct if you want to build this flipkart kind of applications we need to follow these are all the stages what are the first stage guys please analysis 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 is nothing but what gathering information from the client who is the client here flipkart what exactly this business so whether it is required how exactly login page how exactly registration page what is the payment gateway what is the search page how exactly tracking customer each and every information will be gathered from the client based on gathering information based on gathering information based on gathering information so our architects will be designed design is nothing but what plan design is nothing but what plan according into the plan according into our plan our developers will write the code our developers will write the code either maybe java code or dot net or python any programming our developers will implement the software but whether the software is in working condition or not our tests will be verified by using selenium test cases or automation test cases performance test cases or manual test cases our tests will be verified once if it is verified so we are going to be deploying on hundreds of servers once if it is deploy applications on hundreds of servers we can able to access our internet as a website once if it is once if it is an access that's it no whether this application is in working condition or not we are going to be monitor and maintain monitor and maintain this entire process we are calling is what this entire process we are calling as what sd lc sd lc in this total process so we have a developers we have a testers we have aws administrators we have a linux administrators db administrators if you are it profile if you are doing id job or any profile any platform you are part of this sdls including devops senior also 
if you are working in it software you are out of this maybe developers are working on where developers are working on where exactly in implementation part testers working on where are db administrators devops engineers aws engineers larex administrators all together we are going to be working in sdlc by end of the day by end of the day we are all not a devops engineer and we are all either developers including aws engineers devops engineers java developers dotnet developers or we are all together we are going to be involved in sdlc by end of the day we are going to be produce a flipkart kind of applications a flipkart kind of applications understood very clearly i hope you people are understand what is sd what is sd lc i hope you people are understand very clear on top of sdlc on top of sdlc we are going to be implementing devops process on top of sdlc we are going to be implementing our devops process what is dev guys please the dev is nothing but what development dev is nothing but what development ops is nothing but what operations the combination of software development plus operation we call as what devops we call as what dev apps guys please for example let's say let's say for example in sdlc we have a several stages and several pages which you already discussed am i right yes just in assume so our sdlc we have a several stages am i right it may be developers are working here maybe testers are working here maybe it is a pre production it is live so this last one is what live it is a live project product so these are all the stages we have guys There's so many we have but let it be uh, scripts so developers are going to be writing from where exactly in devil dev environment developers are writing by using java code then what exactly it is moving into the testing environment after very fine tests we going to be moving into the pre production pre production to the production pre production to the production but my point is what exactly i'm going to be discussing with you guys please so as a devops engineer our roles and responsibility start from where dev environment ends with where exactly production is nothing but operations guys please so as a devops engineer our roles and responsibility start from dev environment ends with operations so that is what exactly point i want to discuss with you <coughs> yes so dev is nothing but what development ops is nothing but what operation the combination of software development plus operation we call as what devops we call as what devop that means our roles and responsibility start from where exactly dev environment ends with operation that means we are part of dev environment build test release deploy operation and monitor so these are all the stages we are part of it. but to be frankly to be frankly to be frankly we are not writing any coding sorry we are not writing any coding to be frankly we are not writing any test cases also so our job is just we are going to be implementing just we are going to be an implementing devops process from where dev environment to operations with an automated process with an automated process with an automated process is nothing but what devops is nothing but what devops and so for example developers are writing a code the lines of code the software the software is going to be moving into where 
production environment with an automated process. That automated process is going to be created by DevOps. That is only role we are going to be play in SDLC. The rest developers writing the code, testers are writing test cases, DB administrator working in DB, admin, AWS administrator working on AWS. The, all the people are be together, we are going to be complete our SDLC process. In top of SDLC process as a DevOps engineer, we are going to be implementing a, an automated process. So if you are implementing an automated process, what will happen? What is an exactly DevOps? Anybody help me? What is a DevOps? DevOps is a technology like Java.net? No. Is DevOps is a technology like a Java.net? It is not. DevOps is not a technology. DevOps is a process. DevOps is a process which we are going to be implementing from dev environment to operation with an automated process. If you are implementing an automated process, we can able to deliver the software within a shortest time. As soon as possible, we can deliver our development developer software into the production environment. If you are delivering within a shortest time, and the cost is going to be reduced. We can able to reduce the cost. And we can able to provide highest quality. Highest quality. Understood very clearly. What is a DevOps? Let me repeat. DevOps is a process which we are going to be implementing from a dev environment to operations. While delivering development developer code into the production environment, we can able to deliver within a shortest time with the high quality, with low cost is nothing but what? DevOps process. Is nothing but what? DevOps process. If you are replacing with our SDLC process with DevOps process, if you are replacing with the SDLC process with the DevOps process, what is the all advantage exactly, please? What exactly DevOps aims, please? So we can able to deliver very fastly. We can increase the speed. We can increase the speed and frequently. And we can able to improve n number of deployments. And with the highest quality, with the lowest cost, with the lower failure rate. These are all the advantage. These are all the advantage we can able to get it by helping our DevOps process. Simply, we, if you call this speed increase, cost is reduced. Quality is increased. Quality is increased. And so quality is increased, cost is decreased means who don't want this technology. That is the reason so more demand and DevOps. Understood very clearly if you go for any shopping mall. So Pepe jeans or any fat and shorty buying instead of 2000 rupees, you'll be getting 200 rupees. You are happy or not? Are you going to be saving our expenses or not? The same concept. Fine. Fine, please. So, but whenever after getting a job, if you are, what is an exactly roles and responsibility? Once if you are getting a job, what is an exactly roles and responsibilities, guys, please? So, as a DevOps engineer, we are going to be replaced with a complex pipeline with a transparent pipeline. Sir, what is a complex pipeline? What is an exactly transparent pipeline? Should we should understand or not? So first we should understand what? What is the complex part? Then we're going to be understand what exactly transparent pipeline. What is an exactly complex pipeline? Our SDLC process is a complex pipeline. We know very well SDLC or not. We have discussed already. What is SDLC? SDLC is what? <coughs> complex pipeline. What is a transparent pipeline? DevOps process. Very simple. So we understood very clearly what is SDLC. We understood very clearly what is DevOps process. So we are going to be replacing with what? Our SDLC process with what? DevOps process. Why we are calling SDLC is a complex? Because if it is a manual process, it is not automatic. SDLC is not a automated, it is a manual process. So from analysis to Design, design to implementation, testing to deploy, deploy to maintenance. It is a manual process. If it is a manual process, if it is a manual process, if you got any issue, 
any problem in the middle any issue any problem in the middle so it will take long time for resolving issues for identification issues it will take long time because of it is a manual process example a water pipeline the water pipeline is underground example somewhere is a blockage there is no leakage it is a blockage so can able to find immediately where is the blockage experts are required or not we need to pay more salary more more amount or not even experts also can able resolve within a half half an hour within a one hour within a day no it will take long time the same process in sdlc process also if you are following sdlc process if you got any issue any problem for identification it will take long time for resolving issue also it will take long time that is the reason what we will do we are going to be replacing with what an automated an automated transparent pipeline an automated transparent pipeline automated transparent pipeline by using what devops same water pipeline it is a transparent pipeline look like this same pipeline same uses but it is a transparent it is an automatic understood any issue in this middle any problem in the middle occur any issue any blockage so can able to see one look itself or in this transparent water pipeline so can able to see one look itself where is an exactly problem and can able to resolve as soon as possible or not the same way davops process also because if it is davops is an automated process davops is a transparent process in the middle if you got any issue any problem any problem please One second. Yeah, fine. Let it be. Let it be continue, please. What is an exactly we are going to be, guys? Please, we are going to be replacing with what complex pipeline with transparent pipeline. Why we are calling DevOps is a transparent pipeline because if it is a transparent with an automatic. In the middle, if you got any issue, any problem, easily we can able to identify. Easily we can able to resolve. But actual DevOps process how exactly look like this? This is what exactly our actual DevOps process, which we are going to be implement. Our actual DevOps processes look like this one. In this DevOps transparent pipeline, we have a several stages and several phases like plan, code, integration, testing, release, deploy, operation. But in this DevOps process, we are going to be, we are going to be our roles and responsibilities start from where. dev environment ends with where operations starts with where exactly dev environment ends with where exactly operation that means our roles and responsibilities in dev environment in integration part testing release deploy and operations understood very clearly to be frankly while implementing this devops process we are not writing any code we are not writing any code we are not writing any test cases just we are going to be implementing a devops an automated a transparent pipeline only why to make it speed to increase the quality to decrease the cost so that purpose only we are going to be implementing our devops process from where exactly dev environment to operation so let us understand this devops process in stage by stage what exactly are roles and responsibilities in each and every stage let us understand guys please in dev environment in dev environment we are not writing any code we are not writing any code the writing is responsible by whom developers the lines of code is responsible by who 
writing is responsible by whom guys please developer after writing by after writing by developer that code which who are all maintaining writing is responsible by the developer after writing the code that code is going to be maintained by devops team that's what we are part of devinvra clear all of you it's very important point writing is responsible by the developer after writing that code is going to be maintaining by devops engineer but how many developers we have please anybody help me how many developers please tell me n number of developers we don't know so all developer source code so every day morning to evening each and every developer writing n number of code but all developer source code we, we need to integrate or not we need to integrate or not yes we are going to be integrate how continuous we are going to be integrate once if it is integrate all developer source code whether the software is in working or not we need to execute our test cases this test cases who is writing writing devops engineer or testers and testers will write not by you and me so we are going to be just integrate only test cases our job is only integrate which is written by testers and once if it is execute test cases if there is no error if there is no error or else if you got an error if you got an error automatically it is redirecting back to the developer developer has to fix the issue again again integration again this error understood very clearly so developer code going to be integrate then it's going to be verified by the test cases once if you got an error automatically it is going to be redirected back to the developer this loop will be this loop will be repeated until what zero errors zero bugs once if it is everything is fine without any error without any bug we calling as what the working software as a application what is the first question which you ask please what is application what is an application the working software without any error if it is working software is ready what we will do directly we going to be placing on server side no directly we are going to be placing on server side no one we need to hold or halt in a particular period of time in a release in a release in a particular maintenance window a particular scheduled day we are going to be placed on hundreds of servers on a hundreds of servers once if it is placed on hundreds of servers we can able to access our internet as a website this entire process is we calling as what devops once if it is place our application once if we are accessing this website to our internet our job is finished is our job is finished no whether it is working or not we need to monitor and maintenance that is also responsible by the devops engineer only got it very clearly what is the devops process so devops is a process which you are going to be implementing from where exactly dev environment ends with where operation ends with where operation that means we are part of dev environment integration testing release development and operation we are going to be implementing devops an automated transparent pipeline while implementing this transparent pipeline make sure whether you are going to be deliver within a shortest time with the high quality with low cost this is an exactly devops process i hope you people are understand what is an exactly this devops process what is an exactly this devops process but for implementing this devops process for implementing this devops process which are all the tools we are going to be using we should learn some tool stack or not for implementing this devops process which are all the tools we are going to be guys please let us list down let us list down let us list down
which are all those guys please git we are going to be learning maven we are going to be learning jenkins we are going to be learning jfrog we are going to be learning sonar key we going to be learning configuration management like ansible chef aws complete aws docker we are going to be learning kubernetes we are going to be learning vagrant we are going to be learning negios we are going to be learning elk we are going to be learning terraform so these are all the tools we are going to be learning for learning these tools it will take more time so by using these are all the tools we are going to be implementing this devops process how exactly these tools are fitting into this diagram let us understand so firstly so n number of developers writing code or no? that code is going to be maintaining by whom maintaining by whom and devops engineer but devops engineer is going to be maintaining in by using which tool which tool and by using git git is a version control all developer source code as a devops engineer we are maintaining in a git version control git version control but all developer source code we should be execute or not we need to build or not by using maven but this entire process we are going to be automated or not by helping of jenkins jenkins is a an automation tool in automation tool this entire devops process is going to be automated by jenkins only once if it is once if it is an automated and we are going to be hold our working software in release or not the release is nothing but what by using jfrog jfrog is nothing but what release and we are going to be learning sonar cube sonar cube is what exactly code analyzer it is an optional tool but we are going to be discussing by using sonar cube whether developers are following standards or not it will verify and give statistics and reports by using these are all the tools which are all tools please list down git maven jenkins jfrog sonar cube we are going to be implementing ci cd process continuous integration continuous delivery one module these are all the tools we call as what one module it will take three weeks exam or four weeks sometimes all of you understood very clearly so where exactly cacd guys please cacd is nothing but what continuous integrating continuous delivery continuous integrating making working software we are going to be continuously deliver i'll repeat this diagram let me so after writing by developer all developer source code continuously we have to integrate am i right or wrong then making working software by executing task case once if it is making working software we are going to be deliver continuously deliver once if it is deliver we are going to be placed we are going to be placed on how many servers guys please if it is one server not be here you not be sit here not required understood very clearly so we are going to be handling we are going to be placed our applications on 100 servers that is the reason we are be here we are using devops understood so after completion of cacd after delivering working software we going to be placing on where hundreds of servers but this hundreds of servers if you want to configure sir what is the configuration configure means what If you buy a new laptop, what we will do? Configuration or not? You buy a new laptop one day. You are going to be configure or maybe network settings, maybe installing some software like Microsoft, maybe PDF. You are going to be configuring something X Y Z or not according to your requirement or not? That we are calling as a configuration. But here is how many servers we have? Hundreds of servers, and each and every server we need to install the software. we need to create a file we need to change the files all of you are now but if you want to do manually server by server how much time just think about it for laptop it will take minimum 1 hour and 
i hope maybe but sarva it will take more than 2 days 3 days also for sarva but 100 servers it will be complete how many days and it will how many months can able to complete within end of the day no but if you want to do that we require an automation automation process that automation process we are going to be implementing by using what Configuration management space. Configuration management. So what is an exactly configuration management? Please anybody help me. You know that answer. Manual process replaced with an automation process on a hundreds of server. It is nothing but a configuration. So our job is what exactly? Creating files, installing softwares on a hundreds of servers. How? With manual or without manual? Without automation. Manual or automated? And automated. For that we are using what? Configuration management. By using configuration management, hundreds of servers we can automate. We're going to be replaced with what? Manual process with what? Automation process. Automatically, we can able to create a hundreds of servers. Automatically creating a files on hundreds of servers. Automatically installing softwares on hundreds of servers. Clear all of you. But for this, which are all the tools supporting guys, please? So, it's going to be supporting Ansible and Chef. Ansible and Chef. By helping of configuration management, we can automate n number of <coughs> dev environment, we can automate it. Testing environment, we can automate it. Production environment, we can automate it. But we are going to be learning one push model. Ansible is a push model. Chef is a pull model. One push model, we're going to be learning. One pull model, we're going to be learning. Clear all of you. What is a pull? What is a push? Don't ask me. We'll discuss in the regular session. It will take one hour. For that statement, if you want to clarify, it will take one hour. Not for today. Okay. I will discuss deep discussion. Not for today. And then we are going to be, please. We are going to be discussing what exactly? AWS. AWS is a complete course. We are going to be, we are going to be discussing AWS is a complete course. But here is, here is what we are going to be understand. So as we discuss, you know, we are configuring how many servers only? 100 servers. From where we are getting 100 servers? If you have a laptop, we can configure. If you don't have a laptop, from where you can able to get it done? Question is that. Where? From where? How many times? How many ways we can able to get a servers done? Physically, like your laptop. Virtually. And cloud. Which cloud? AWS. Which cloud we are going to be getting as please? Hundreds of servers. Hundreds of servers we are going to be getting from where? AWS. On top of hundreds of servers, we can able to implementing automated process by helping of Ansible and Chef. I'll repeat this point, very important point. Getting servers from AWS. After getting servers, we are going to be implementing an automated process by helping of Chef and Ansible. Chef and and that's it. very simple. Am I right? But so we are going to be deploying servers on where? AWS servers. Am I right? By using Ansible, by using Chef, we are going to be deploying our applications on a hundreds of AWS servers. That is the point we're discussing from starting of the session. Application, what is an application? Am I right? The first question is that or only? But I've shown you only one server, but right now. 100 servers. But the servers are from where exactly we're getting? AWS. That is the point. You know. right. But are we deploying our applications on only AWS servers? Are we deploying our applications on only AWS servers? No. We can deploy our applications on Docker also. We can deploy our applications on Docker container. Understood very clearly. If anybody asks you what is a Docker, what is the statement? Docker is for only websites deployment. Understood very clearly. What is a Docker? For placing our websites. Very simple word. What is a Docker? For placing our websites very easily. With the high performance, with low cost. 
understood very clearly how much cp you know for example pepejin you want to buy it for 10 rupees is it cheap or not same quality same fan but 10 rupees same same thing here so for getting servers instead of spending crores of rupees we can able to deploy application with a minimal cost by using docker what is a docker docker is an isolated area which is specifically deploy our application that is a definition of docker but easy way for deploy our websites simple word definition point of view docker is an isolated area which is specifically deploy our applications understood very clearly example example so container have you seen this uh, container in a lifetime have you seen this have you seen this uh, container space i think you would have, have you seen this in physically somewhere else on roads you can see this type of containers how exactly this container works same for docker containers also but by using this container we can able to transport in the ysc but by using our container we can deploy our applications means websites that is only difference the same as it is no difference understood very clearly but this containers can can manage by who this containers can manage by who man ship but where is the ship here kubernetes so docker by using docker we can able to deploy n number of applications on n number of containers those containers can managed by control by kubernetes steering of the ship understood very clearly so not only deploying our applications on docker not only deploying our applications on kubernetes we are going to be deploying our application by using vagrant vagrant is a virtual provisioning tool we can able to create a virtual machines in your laptop or not a production environment on top of we can deploy our applications also vagrant is a virtual provisioning tool for only laptops not for production but aws is a production environment kubernetes is a production environment docker is a kubernetes production but vagrant is only for dev environment and we are going to be using negios negios is a system monitoring means ram what is the ram size cpu we can able to monitor we're going to be learning elk elk is a elastic clocks kibara we are going to be monitor applications how exactly this website is performing and we are going to be learning terraform terraform is a cross cloud platform by using terraform we can able to create a service in cross cloud means aws azure google any cloud by using these are all the tools by using these are all the tools by using these are all the tools we are going to be implementing our devops process clear all of you so what is the devops we understood which are all the tools we are going to be understood and which tool is where where exactly we are understood very clearly clear or not what is the devops if anybody ask you what is the single line answer devops is an automated process implementing from dev environment to operation to make it speed mean shortest time increase the quality decrease the cost this is only one sentence please write down and we can leave only one sentence i'll repeat what is a devops devops is a process so for implementing an automated process from dev environment to production environment or operation while implementing this process our working software which is written by developer making very speedly within a shortest time we can deploy on production server with the high quality with the low cost it is nothing but devops process this is only one point we learned for today this is only one line sentence we learned for today only the whole story okay tomorrow we are going to be discussing about what is aws and what is the difference between aws and devops that is a class for tomorrow i hope you people are understand what is devops enough for today i don't want to hit you brains more for today tomorrow we'll discuss about what is it then we can compare understood very clear that is a class for today. do you have any questions please first let me take an online students question then i'll take a offline
Okay, first let me clarify online students. So before taking the questions, please let us revise. So this is as we discuss the WAPS plus AWS Plan X special by me Maha. So so total duration is four and a half months. Daily one hour class, eight a.m. to nine a.m. One hour session only. Before nine a.m. I'll close the session. Don't be exceeded because of you need to practice. Monday to Saturday. Sometimes Sundays also. You're going to be paying twelve thousand rupees fee for what? Full data place, full devops, but daily recordings. Without recordings, we can't be practice. Sorry, it is inbuilt. No separate videos included. Nothing. It is a combo package, single time fee. So Linux basics, shell script. I'm going to be covering. No programming is required. Freshers and experience can also join in this course. If you want to join in this course, minimum graduate is more than enough. Daily recordings will be received by after payment via Google Drive. The eleven months of access from date of registration is going to be an access eleven months. Sir, only eleven months, no one lifetime. Unofficially, officially eleven months. Unofficially, lifetime. But the name saying we need to take, take a, we need to give expiry date or not? That's what eleven months. And resume preparation, interview question and answers. Yeah, live four live projects. These these four live projects inbuilt the course, not a separate. Eighty percent of the soft material are course starts with what exactly? Very basic level, finish with an advanced level. And each and every session is a practically oriented session. It is my admin information. It is my course content level. I'm going to be share one more time in the chat box. Please be get it all of you. Oh, excellent! Done. So please be get it. So before taking our questions, please. Before taking our questions, please. For offline students, please be make it note this. Take a photo or note it. Spelling is so N is a capital letter. One second. One second. So please uh, make it T dot L Y forward slash N J X B N is a capital letter X is a capital letter remaining all are small letters N capital letter X capital letter remaining all are small letters. So try to view and we'll meet them by tomorrow. So any questions, please online students, please. Kumar asked this question, so yeah, you can. So even telecom background also you can able to shift to IT. Don't don't worry. So our class is very easy to understand, very slow. Everybody can understand. Even non-technical students also easily can understand. Please, Kumar, you can happily join in. So, Jay Kumar, please. I would like to have a call with you, one on one uh, regarding course. So, what exactly the question? Please ask me in the chat box. Try to answer. Still, if you not, if you want to talk to me personally, call to our admin. They will arrange a conference. Jay. But after ten, after eleven o'clock, please call to our admin. They will arrange a conference call. You can talk to me personally. Okay. But not here. One to one. But if you want any question, if you want to talk to me any technical questions, so please wait. By end of the session, I can talk to you. Personally, if you want to talk to me, conference. But if you want to talk to me right now, please wait. End of the session, I can allow. But right now, no. fine. So any any other questions, please, all of you, online students, please. Online students, please. Yes, so IT non-IT or experience non-experience can join in this course easily. But December January usually it is less openings. That is a common thing. But after Pongal, after Sankaranti, automatically the openings are increased. But if you join in this course, half of the course will be completed by January. Am I right or not?
then so february and maybe within four months the course will be completed so when you when you are going to be complete this course more openings you can able to get it don't know. from non it completion of 2018 batch can i get as fresher so two years maybe less than two years you consider as a fresher less than two years you consider as a fresher if it is i think four years gap that means you are going to be as an experienced vaday baskar yeah baskar asked this question job assistant job assistant definitely i shared very clear resume preparation entry question and answers so materials providing job assistant definitely definitely but any job guarantee please talk to it this is there is no job guarantee program in my classes only job assistant program you know baskar definitely so yeah, is there any other questions please all of you is there any other questions please so is two years of experience guys got an interview calls so 2.5 <coughs> i'm recommend 2.5 2.5 to 3 more openings as of right two place also we have but compared to three less freshers also get a calls but you know the ratio is for example experience guy getting a 10 calls for an example maybe freshers can get four calls four to five calls maybe after january i'm talking about not december this month sunil yeah is there any other question please online students can i move to the offline yeah is there any questions offline students so is it practical experience ha huh. is hands on experience hands on means what exactly for example i will show you here only uh, so for example on cancer okay, because this is after lecture we will open it to say how to get uh, submit to your collection hmm i will show you in the live itself okay. i will show in the live example that is only simple example for example ansible how to write a playbook how to execute the playbook how to configure servers practically i will show you slowly class by class that's what ansible itself 3 weeks will discuss ansible itself 3 weeks chef itself 3 weeks cs it 3 weeks ansible aws 6 weeks sorry 8 weeks i think 8 8 weeks or 7 weeks we are going to be discussing aws i don't exactly plus or minus one top or component one month why because of practical things each and every session is a theoretical explanation we should understand the concept then only if you show practically you can understand directly go for practical nothing and that is a blur hands on hands on so project also in it example ansible what is ansible why we are ansible we should understand so day by day slowly we are going to increase each and every concept so all the functionality what are the features in ansible we going to be discussing practically every day practical by end of the session by end of the module we'll do one real time project on a module in aws in davops four modules there that means four projects ansible one project cicd one project docker and kubernetes one project chef one project so complete one now cicd pipeline this is a reason that's what it will take time to see if you want to complete this course one month is enough time. critical but it is not that that's what it will take four and a half months to five months we know four and a half months that's what classes mean means it may take one class or not so time is not concern for me time is not a concern but we need to we need to complete and practice what we are given content that is my is One second. How much experience can I after this course? You can show up to four years. Huh? You can show up to four years by this course. What is the question, please? Okay. Eligible. For example, your name, please. Rajesh. So Rajesh asked this question. So I have a ten years of experience, eleven years of experience, eleven years of experience. I have already. Okay, how exactly we can able to show this, please? How exactly we can able to show? I have a totally eleven years of experience in IT, in resume. From last three or three and a half years onwards, I'm working as a developer. 
we can show like that but how exactly convince i am working as a for example xyz technology like dot net or java or whatever internally so my project my project in the project we got an opportunity to work as a devops and that's what it, it i transfer depends we can convince it is possible so this course is not only for freshers not only for experts in both even 15 years of experience or 20 years of experience java architect should learn this course there is no exceptional for them option not optional and should be learned even vp vice presidents of the company or a senior manager or senior architect who are all working in top position as software there is no option for them they should learn devops even freshers also understood it's very clearly anybody should learn even testers should learn this develop for example you join as a developer java developer last maybe 2 3 years and working for him also there is no option to learn it you should learn the website if you are a developer there is no option for you should learn this course whether you want to continue developer whether you want to continue as a developer that is a secondary even testers also even like if you are admin infra tech side so no question about it you should learn this course fine all of you understood very clear so one more thing compared to developers more packages here compared to developer more packages here if you are getting a more package more work pindu gold return tank nr kada prasa if you are getting a more salary that means we need to effect more we need to mentally we need to prepare for that mentally ready for that we are working for money okay please please keep on the mind so we need to hard work we need to hard work if you do practical what i am delivering in the class if you do the same class same if you practice it is more enough for getting a job so i um, you have to promise before joining in this course practice one hour class two hours minimum practice per day it is more than enough so that's it for today so we'll be continue by tomorrow please it's depending on coding but we are not learning coding we are handling java but we are not learning java after writing code we need to handle the code we need to handle the code that means we are not writing any code understood very clearly some scripts are required formats we require we i tell i tell you i will teach you guys please maybe aml ruby maybe maximum we are going to be using if condition if you know very well if maximum nothing c c nothing if else data structure nothing at all no data types in uh, no variable variables we are going to be using that is also string type or no not required python is not mandatory but it's uh, if you want yeah if you want yes but what's the problem you know if you are keeping python on python with devops you know more of it is we can't handle after getting a job that's the reason so as a beginner as a fresher as a so getting a job as a looking for job python is not not including you but after getting a job after 3 years 1 year if you settle down as a devops team then looking for python python with devops after getting a job after 3 years that's very clear so with this combo what will happen you know after getting a job you become a scientist understood very clearly means what there is no time for your family you are dedicated to the company dedicated to the project no personal life that's what i'm not recommend without python also we can happily get a job we can continue there is no problem it is an option <coughs> thank you thanks guys please will be continue tomorrow if any questions any doubt don't worry we'll meet tomorrow again we can discuss okay. thank you thanks guys please will be continue by tomorrow so today our agenda is
What is AWS? What is AWS? That is in exactly our agenda. Okay. But in yesterday, we have discussed what is DevOps. Okay. From new students, we have that is the reason. So, what we are going to be guys is first. So, we are going to be discussing about first. Just wow you off what we have discussed in the last session. What is DevOps? Then we will discuss about what is AWS. And by end, we can conclude, we can understand. So, what is the difference between AWS versus DevOps? This is an exactly our agenda for today. Understood very clearly. Right? So, before starting our session, Before our starting our session, guys, please. Before starting our session, please. So online students, uh, audio, video, everything is perfect. Can you confirm in the chat box once all of you? Audio. Audio is clear. Can you confirm in this chat box, please, all of you? Please once. Thank you. Yeah, if any problem, please let me know in the chat box. Okay, in the middle also. Fine. Fine. Thank you. Thanks for replying, all of you. Let it be content. Okay. So, first, so let me introduce myself. So, my name is Maha. I have totally 15 years of experience in IT. My career starts as what? Java developer. My career starts as what? Java developer. From last five years onwards, I'm working as a senior DevOps engineer. Senior DevOps engineer as well as AWS and Azure also. This is an exactly my profile. So before starting this session, so I'm going to be asking you three questions, please. What are these three questions, please? What are the first question? Anybody, anybody help me? What is application? What is the second question? What is a server? Third question is what exactly? What is SDLC? Is anybody help me? What is an application, please? What is an application, please? Anybody help me, please? The working software, which is written any programming language like Java, .NET, Python, we call as what? Application. That application we are going to be placed on server side. Once if it is placed on server side, once if it is placed on server side, you are going to be accessing as a as a website like a Redbus, Book My Show, IRCTC, Flipkart, any website. What is an application? Anybody help me? What is an application? Anybody help me? Yeah, application is nothing but a website. Simple answer. Application is nothing but a website. That is simple answer. You always remember when I call application, please, please remember is a website. If it is called a definition point of view, application is nothing but a, the working software, which is written any programming language at the Java, .NET, Python. We call as an application, that application we are going to be placed on hundreds of servers. Once if it is placed on hundreds of servers, we are going to be accessing our internet, our internet as a website. This is we calling as what? Application. But what are the server? What are the purpose of server? How many ways we can able to get a server? So we can able to get a server either physical environment or a virtual environment or a cloud environment. But so any server for deploying our applications to maintain our applications 24 hours for a long time without any shutdown. So this kind of servers we're going to be handling. And what is an SDLC? Anybody help me? What is an SDLC? What is an SDLC? Software development life cycle. By using SDLC, what we can able to do it? Anybody help me? We can produce websites. 
by end of this sdlc we are going to be produce what applications that application we are going to be placed on server side and we can able to access but in sdlc we have a several stages and several phases several stages and several phases which are all the stages guys please analysis design implementation testing deploy and maintenance so these are all the stages by following these are all the stages we can able to produce a website means application how exactly guys please how exactly we are going to be analysis is nothing but what gathering information from the client for example if you want to construct the house we need to gather the information or not iron cost cement cost land cost how much required what is it, what is everything we need to gather information or not the same way so how exactly this business it is a travel business how exactly this business what kind of is the business what exactly client the business owner is expecting so as a ba business analyst we are going to be gathering information from the business owner is nothing but a client how exactly it's going to be login page how exactly it is registration page how exactly it is dashboard which technology each and every information will be gather after successfully gathering information our architects will be designed our architects will be designed architect is going to be planning design is nothing but what plan and so to construct the house we required a planner double bedroom triple bedroom apartment without plan we can't be construct the house same way according to the plan our developers will implement our developers will be implement software <coughs> by using java or dotnet or python what am i mean? after successfully implementing after successfully implementing software whether the software is going to be working whether the software is going to be <coughs> whether the software is going to be working or not our tests will be verified by using an automation test cases manual test cases or performance test cases what i mean once if it is verified we are going to be deploying on hundreds of production servers once if it is placed on hundreds of production servers we can able to once if it is placed on access over internet and website that's it no so whether it is working or not we are going to be monitor and maintenance this entire process we calling as what sd lc sd lc in sd lc each and every it employee involved not only devops engineer it is aws admin linux administrator developers testers we are all together as a team we are all together we as a team we are producing a website like our cricket team like a movie makers all together all together if you want to make a movie so actors required heroes actors editors understood very clearly and so many 24 crafts we have am i right but here is actors are what developers are. but director is devops in the field understood very simple we understood here but by end of the day any it employee the developer or the tester or devops in there we have to produce an application to do business in online by end of the day any it employee is goal is for what produce a working software as an application so to doing a business in internet that is what exactly sdlc in sdlc we are going to be implementing our devops process on sdlc we are going to be implementing our devops process what is the dev is nothing but what Development. development ops is nothing but what operation the combination of development plus operation we call as what devops that means what exactly what we have understood 
that means what we understand guys please our roles and responsibilities start from where devin bro ends with where operations. operations that means we are part of coding bill test release deploy operation so our roles and responsibilities from coding to production environment that means are we going to be writing any coding that means are we writing any test cases no we are not writing any coding we are not writing any test cases just we are going to be in implementing an automated devops process from dev environment to production environment that is an exactly our roles and responsibilities what is it what is it devops is devops is a technology no like java.net python no devops is a process devops is a process which you going to be implementing from dev environment to operation but what exactly it will happen developers writing the software or not the lines of code by using java.net python or not that code we are going to be we going to be placing in from dev environment to production environment while we delivering working software from dev environment to production environment make sure whether you are delivering within a shortest time with the high quality with low cost is nothing but what devops so let me repeat this point so what is a devops devops is a process that to automated process to make it shorten the software delivery into the production environment and we need to provide with high quality with low cost we are going to be placing our applications on hundreds of servers with an automated way with a transparent way it is nothing but what devops but actually what is the roles and responsibilities once if you stepping into the company what is the first priority goal what is the major first goal have remember replacing with what complex pipeline with transparent pipeline so when you go to stepping into the company so you seeing only complex pipeline an existing process are already developers are working already an existing process but what we are going to be we going to be replaced with what a, a manual process with an automated process the manual process we are calling as what complex but automated process we calling as what transfer but so complex pipeline which you are calling as what sdlc why we are calling complex process is this why sdlc is a complex because of it is a manual process because of it is a manual process from analysis to design design to implementation implement testing it is a manual process one team to another team it is a manual process it is not an automated process so for example while implementing this sdlc process if you got any issue in the middle any problem in the middle any problem any issue in the middle so how difficult to identify this due to this manual process So, if you got any issue, easily can able to identify. No one. No experts are required here. We have a experts. If you are hiring experts for this process, definitely we need to pay more salary. Yes or no? That means the cost is increasing or no? So we gonna be deliver in time? No, we can't be. That means the quality is decrease. so what is the what is the point i want to tell you guys please due to the manual process if you got any issue occur for identification it will take long time for resolving issue also long time an example which i given was water pipe the water pipeline is underground somewhere else a blockage can able to identify that problem within immediately no it is not a leakage it is a blockage after identification can able to fix this within hour it will take weeks what happened but what we are expecting this i don't want this complex pipeline but i want to replace with what transparent if it is a transparent pipeline how exactly i want to visualize transparent pipeline the same water the everything is same but i want to implement transparent once if it is look at this if you got any issue here for example any issue please here 
any issue in the middle, like any problem, any error occur in the middle of this pipeline, by one look itself, where is the problem can able to see or not? And as soon as possible, can able to fix this issue or not? The same way in DevOps process also. Due to this an automated process, if you got any issue, any problem in the middle, we can able to fix this as soon as possible. It will take time, but it is a very shortest time. And so that is the reason. So we are calling as a DevOps is a, a transparent and automated process. A transparent and automated process. But actual, DevOps, actual DevOps transparent pipeline is look like this one. So in our course, we are going to be implementing this diagram. So we're all working for this four and a half months for this diagram. For this implementing this diagram only, we are going to be spending four and a half months. So in this DevOps transparent pipeline, we have a several stages. You know, planning, coding, integration, testing, release, deploy, and operation. But in this DevOps transparent pipeline, our roles and responsibilities start from where? Devin Vora. Ends with where? Operation. Ends with where? Operations. So that means we are part of, we are not responsible for planning. And the planning is done by BS, business analysts, not by you. We are part of coding. We are part of integration. We are part of testing. We are part of release. We are part of, we are part of operation. So we are going to be implementing DevOps process from the environment to operations with an automated way with the transparent way. But how exactly guys, please? Are we going to be writing any coding in the environment? No. The writing is responsible by whom? Developer. Developers. Developer has to write the code by using any programming. Once if it is write the code, who is the responsible person, please? Who is the responsible person to maintain, please? DevOps. What I said very clearly, writing is responsible by the developer. But maintenance is responsible by the DevOps. Once if it is maintained, how many developers we have here, please? A number of developers are continuously writing code or not. But all the code we need to mix, we need to combine, we need to combine. How? How about the only ones? Huh? No. So developers are continuously writing the same way as a DevOps engineer, our responsibility continuously integrate. So developers are continuously writing a code. That code automatically we are going to be integrate continuously. Once if it is increased, once if it is integrate, so whether the software is working or not, we need to verify or not. We need to verify or not. That is the reason we are going to be we are going to be executing test cases. But we are not writing any test cases, which is written by testers, just integrating in this process. If you got any issue, any error, automatically it is redirecting back to the developer. Developer has to fix the issue. Again, integration. Again, yes. testing. So this loop will be repeated until zero errors. Once if it is zero error, that is we calling as a working software as an application or not. That is the first question which I ask you. If it is in working software, it in the software, there is an error that we are calling as a working software as an application or not. The application is ready or not. Can we able to directly placing on, can we able to directly placing on live servers? No. We're going to be hard in a particular period of time. That place we calling as a release. That place we are calling as a release. So from particular maintenance window, monthly ones or weekly ones, we're going to be placed with support of all our team members. With support of all our team members, we're going to be placed on hundreds of services. On a hundreds of services. On a Hundreds of servers. Once if you are placing our application on hundreds of servers, we can able to access our internet as a website. Our job is finished up to here? No. Whether this application is working or not, we are going to be monitor and maintenance. Monitor and maintenance. 
monitor and vendor. This entire process we are calling as what? DevOps. DevOps process. For implementing this DevOps process, which are all the tools we are going to be learning, guys? Please, anybody help me? Let us list down, guys, please. For implementing this DevOps process, we are going to be using which are all the tools, I guess, please? We are going to be using, let it be low. Git, we are going to be using. Maven, we are going to be using. Jenkins, we are going to be using. JFrog, we are going to be using. Sonarchy, we are going to be using. Ansible, we are going to be using. Chef, we are going to be using. Amazon, Cloud, we are going to be using. Docker, Kubernetes, Vagrant, Negios, Elk, and Terra. These are all the tools we are going to be using for implementing this DevOps process, process automated. Got it very clearly? But so for implementing CI, CD, for continuous integration, continuous integration, making working software, continuous delivery for the CI, CD pipeline, for CI, CD pipeline, we are going to be using, we are going to be using for what? Git, Maven, Jenkins, JFrog, Sonarchy. So these four tools, these four to five tools, we are going to be using for implementing CI, CD process. Once if it is delivering, once if it is deliver, once if it is deliver our application into release, into release. From this, from this, from this release, from this release, we are going to be placed on hundreds of servers or no? We are going to be placed in hundreds of servers or no? With an automated or manual way? Automated. automated. So we have a hundreds of servers and hundreds of servers. If you want to create a file, if you want to install a software, if you want to change a file, how exactly which process we are going to be using as please? A eh? An automated process. At a time, I want to install a software. At a time, I want to create a file on a hundreds of servers. For that, we are going to be using configuration management. Configuration management. By using configuration management, we can able to replace with a manual process with an automated process. Instead of manually server-based server installing software, at a time, on hundreds of servers, we can able to install our software that we calling as what? Configuration. Configuration is nothing but a setup. Installing, changing files, whatever. But which are all the tools we are going to be using? Ansible and Chef. Ansible is a push model. Chef is a pull model. Understood very clearly. But if you want to, if you want to, Automate and hundreds of servers. If you want to automate and hundreds <coughs> of servers. So we require a servers or not? Yeah. From where we can able to get it? Yeah. From where we can able to get it? Yeah. Understood it's very clear. So we are going to be an automated process. Hundreds of servers agreed. And, but from where? From, from we can able to get a servers from physical environment. Yeah. And implement DevOps process. We can able to get a service from virtualization and we can implement DevOps process. And moreover, we can able to get a service from cloud. Which cloud we are going to be learning? AWS. Any cloud. And we can able to get any cloud. Azure, AWS, Google. If you want the infrastructure, infrastructure, we can able to get any form. Any form. Any form we can able to get it on top of it. We are going to be implementing an automated process by helping of Ansible and Chef. Finally, we are going to be getting hundreds of servers from AWS. We are placing our application, our websites on a hundreds of servers, cloud servers by helping of Ansible and Chef. So for my satisfaction, let me repeat this part. It's a very important part. So hundreds of servers getting servers from AWS. After getting servers, on top of 100 servers, we are going to be implementing an automated process by helping of Ansible Chef. This is a very important point. But so we are going to be placing our application on where? 
AWS cloud or not? Not only placing, not only deploying hundreds of servers, not only placing our website, not only deploying our application AWS, we can able to place our application Docker container also. Docker content. What is a Docker container? What is a Docker container? Very simple form. Easily deploying a website. If anybody asks you what is a Docker content, what is our answer? We can easily place our websites. That's it. That is the answer for you. But if you ask me definition, Docker container is a isolated area. It is specifically deploying our website or applications. Sir, what is an isolated area? Separate. For isolation, what separate meaning is what? Synonym, separate. Docker container is a isolated area, means separate environment. On top of our, on top of it, we are going to be placing our websites. Example. We are sitting in this room. This room is isolated or not, all of you? By helping of these four walls, ceiling and ground, six sides. By helping of these six sides, this room is isolated or not? On top of it, in this room, we are conducting DevOps classes or not? We are conducting DevOps classes in the same way. Docker container is an isolated area which is specifically placing our applications. Example, containers. Example, containers. Please. Example, please. This container. How exactly this containers work the same for Docker containers, but this container using for transporting in the C. But our containers for what? Deploying our applications, placing our websites. But these containers are going to be controlled by whom? Ship. Controlled by whom, please? Ship. Where is the ship here? Kubernetes. And this is very clearly. So, the Docker containers are managing or controlled by who? Kubernetes. Kubernetes. So if we see the Kubernetes symbol, logo, if we can able to observe, C color is what? Blue. Blue. What are the steering of ship? Same like that. So we can control all hundreds of containers easily managed by Kubernetes. And Kubernetes is a orchestration tool. Kubernetes is a orchestration tool. Okay, what is orchestration? We'll discuss later, not for today. And we can able to learning Vagrant. Vagrant is a virtual provisioning tool. By using Vagrant easily, we can able to create a virtual machine. In where? In your laptops. By using Vagrant, we can able to make it easy or dev environment. Make it easy, dev environment. How we'll discuss, don't worry. We're gonna be learning monitoring tools like Negios, Elk, Negios is a system monitoring like RAM, CP, motherboard. So whatever may be user load, we can able to monitor. Elk is an application monitoring. So each and every application, if you're using internally generating logs, those logs will be monitored. It will be generated analytics. Like this. Analytics also generated. And we're going to be learning Terraform. Terraform is a cross-cloud platform. Cross-cloud platform. By using Terraform, we can able to create a service any cloud. Either Azure, Google, or AWS. So these are all the tools we are going to be implementing. By using these are all the tools, we are going to be implementing this DevOps process. Understood very clearly. What is the DevOps, guys, please? We are going to be an implementing DevOps process from dev environment to operations with an automated way with a transparent while we're delivering working software from dev environment to production environment make sure whether you are delivering within a shortest time with the high quality with low cost with low failure rate this is what exactly devops if anybody asks you what is a devops devops is a process 
which we are going to be implementing from the environment to production environment with an automated transfer. That's it. That is only one sentence enough for to understand the purpose. Fine. But my question is here. After successfully implementing CI/CD, making working software, CI/CD, we are going to be placed our application on hundreds of servers or not? We are going to be placed on hundreds of servers or not? Understood very clearly. But from where exactly you can able to get these hundreds of servers? Anybody help me? This hundreds of servers. From where exactly you can able to get it? Anybody help me? After getting the servers, we are going to be placed our application or not? Yes. yes, sir. No. This is what exactly we understood or not? So this I'm asking one more time. Please answer to me. So what is an application? Please tell me. What is an application? Anybody? Please. What is an application? Website. Simple word. If you are asking me definition point of view, the working software which is written any programming language, like Java, .NET, Python, we calling as a application. So for maintaining this application, for maintaining our application, for deploying our application, we required a infrastructure. Infra structure. What is infrastructure? If you ask anybody definition in the dictionary meaning, what is an answer for this? If you open a dictionary, what does it mean? What is infrastructure? For example, to conduct this classroom, what kind of infrastructure is required? TV, laptop, internet, chairs, fans, my mobile, to specifically my water bottle also. Power also. Understood very clearly. So with this infrastructurally, I'm conducting the sessions or not? Understood very clearly. So, to maintain our office, what kind of infrastructure is required? So, office tables, computers, software, water bottles, AC, files, pens, water maybe. So, for that infrastructure, by using that infrastructure, can able to maintain our office or not? But my question here is, for maintaining our application, what infrastructure is required? Understood the question very clearly right now. What are the question I'm asking, please? For maintaining our applications, for deploying our applications, what kind of infrastructure we require? The first most infrastructure is server zone. Servers own. The next most infrastructure is what? Networks. Then third one is database. The fourth one is storage. So, so many. So many. But these four are major infrastructure. This four these are all four major infrastructures. I'll repeat this. Application is nothing but what? Application, website. For maintaining this website, we require an infrastructure. What kind of infrastructure we require? Servers, network, storage, databases. My question is to specifically after this, how many ways we can able to get this infrastructure? You know the answer, please answer to me. How many ways to get infra? Structure, please tell. I think so many ways, so many times we discuss in the same session and physically, physically, virtualization, environment. I'm talking about environment, physical environment, 
virtual environment cloud and cloud environment but the question is here is what is the cloud so specifically what is a cloud computing what is a cloud computing guys please that is a question so i'm going to be asking so listen very carefully listen very carefully listen very carefully what is a cloud computing if you can able to access remote to placed resources over internet from a laptop is nothing but a cloud understood nothing am i right yeah let us discuss about what is a cloud what is a cloud listen very carefully yeah what is a cloud computing as please so if you can able to access the remote placed resources over internet from a laptop is nothing but a cloud so what is a data center first please tell me what is a data center please huge computing power huge computing power huge computing power keeping in a rack wise in a big room we calling as what data center or no Use computing power, keeping in rack wise in a big room. We calling as a data center. This data center is located in in globally, in Mumbai, in Hyderabad. Recently, they're gonna be launching into the Vizag also, in US, in Singapore, UK, in London, Sydney. <coughs> globally, AWS people are expanded their infrastructure globally. So these data centers are existing physically. We can able to see like our building. How exactly we can see this building physically with your eyes, these tangible things. The same way the data centers are available in Hyderabad. Also, we have this data center, Amazon data center. In US, also we have. In Singapore, also we have. Understood? From these data centers, from these data centers, if you can able to access. A server, a network, a storage, over internet from a laptop is nothing but a cloud computing. That is a statement I given. What are the statement, guys? Please. So the remote to placed resources, the remote to placed resources, any infrastructure, either servers, network, storage, databases, if we can able to access over internet from a laptop is nothing but a cloud computing. So nothing but what cloud computing, any cloud, any cloud, any cloud, either Azure, Google, or any cloud is a rental based resources only. We are not buying anything. We are going to be getting infrastructure as a rental based, as a rental based pay as a service, pay as a service, which is better for you. Build and select, uh, build the news and select the news. Which is your favorite thing is out of these two? Construct the news or else ready-made thing and use it. Right. Example: You want to go for uh, railway station from your home. You want to go to railway station by car. The condition is what? By car. My question is: How many ways we can able to get a car? Only car. Only car. Only car. Our own car. Two ways. One is buying car, rental car. Buying car, or rental car. I want to go by car only. But how many ways we can able to get a car? Two ways. One is buying car, rental car. If you want to buy a car for just for reaching a railway station, really are you going to be buying a car? Just for reaching a railway station, really you are going to be buying a car. If you want to buy, how much amount you need to spend? We know ten lakhs. Huh? You required a driving license. You required pollution check. rc copy finally you don't have a driving you need to hire one driver monthly maintenance after reaching the relation where you park the car lot of issues instead of that if you book a wala cab within 10 minute the car is available at the doorstep without worrying about all these things just getting into the reach the railway station 
what is the tariff he can pay? Maybe 300 to 500 rupees. So instead of spending 10 lakhs, are you going to be spending 500? Which is easy for you? So our purpose is what? Just for reaching railway station. Our purpose is fulfill or not? The same concept here also. Just for deploying our application, are we going to be buying a server? We are going to be go for what? Rental servers. From where? Cloud. Understood very clearly. Cloud is a rental based infrastructure for deploying our applications. What kind of infrastructure we require? We can able to get it easily. Based on usage, they are going to be paying rent for every month. This is nothing but a cloud. This is nothing but a cloud. But which are all the clouds available in the market leading Azure is AWS. Google, but which cloud we're going to be learning? AWS. AWS is a first cloud service provider. AWS is a first cloud provider. In AWS, we have, we're going to be learning uh, these many models. VBC model, EC2 model, RDS model, S3 model. VBC model, EC2 model, RDS model and S3 modules. Each module will take no two weeks. <coughs> Understood very clearly. Totally seven weeks it will be complete this diagram. It is a high-end diagram, which we have experienced the webs in the webs transparent one diagram, you know, high-level diagram. The same in AWS is a top and highest diagram. In this, we are going to be learning four models. What is the first model, guys, please? VPC. VPC is nothing but what? Network. EC2 is nothing but what? Computing power. Servers. RDS is nothing but what? Databases like Oracle, MySQL. S3 is nothing but a storage. It is online storage. Okay. What I said very clearly, let me repeat, please. EC2 is nothing but what? Servers. VPC is nothing but what? Network. RDS is nothing but what? Database. S3 is nothing but what? Storage. But what is a VPC? What is a VPC? Virtual private cloud. Virtual private cloud. Virtual private cloud. If you are visiting any office, we have a network or not, a physical network or not, connecting with this kind of internet cables. Connecting computers with a internet cable that is we calling as a physical network. The same kind of network we are going to be getting from cloud, from cloud, cloud in a virtual form is nothing but what? VPC. I'll repeat this. So we are going to be getting a isolated, isolated, a office kind of private network. We are going to be getting from where? Internet. Cloud is nothing but a internet or internet. So in a virtual form, if we can able to access from a laptop is nothing but a VPC. Like for example, so AWS can able to anybody access you or me, anybody can hit getting into the AWS, but we can able to have a private network, private sections. So your VPC, my VPC, your friend's VPC. Example. So can able to getting into any TCS company, can able to access your TCS or HCL company, laptops or servers from outside world, can able to is it secure or no? The same way we can able to get a, that, that kind of network in cloud also. For example, this network for what? TCS. This network for what? HCL. These are all the companies are using AWS cloud only, but AWS providing a secure network. So this network only dedicated for what? TCS. This network is dedicated for HCL. Understood very clearly. How exactly your office can have network, but we can able to get to our internet in a virtual form instead of physical. I hope you people are understand. Without network, we can't keep it any mission. Even my laptop also. Without network, can able to keep in this laptop. Can able to conduct this online station without network? No. The same way servers also. Without network, we can't be exist any server. First, we need to establish network. On top of it, we are going to be 
keeping our servers. If you want to serve us from where exactly we can able to get it? EC2. EC2. Cloud means what? Internet. Computing power is nothing but what? RAM, CPU, motherboard. These are all we calling as a computing power. That's what we calling as a computer. In elastic form, what is elastic means? Flexible, expandable, increasing, decreasing kind of thing and flexible things. So we are going to be getting a, we are going to be getting a servers from cloud in a, a flexible kind of thing. This we calling as what? EC2. Based on customer load, we can able to increase the servers, decrease the servers automatically. That we are calling as elastic. So 1E, 2C. That's what? EC2. By helping of EC2, we can able to get a servers or not. So, which are all the components available in a laptop, the same components available in server also. RAM, CPU, motherboard, RAM. These are all the resources you having in a laptop also or not. But same kind of resources in server also. But laptop is only for home purpose. Server is for deploying applications. For example, I want to deploy Hotstar application. I want to deploy Hotstar application and how? How exactly, please? First, you need to establish network. We need to create a one virtual network in the cloud. Once, if it is create a network, on top of it, we are going to be creating a servers. On top of the server, we're going to be placed on our Hotstar applications. Hotstar application. Once, if it is placed Hotstar application, we can able to access our internet as it is like this. Same way. Our job is finished or not. Network we created, on top of servers we created, on top of we place our, our websites. Done or not? But my question is, where exactly we can able to maintain our customer information? Mobile, email address, subscription information. Where we can able to maintain, please anybody help me? In database. In database. The database we can able to get which service? RDS. I like Oracle kind of database. MySQL kind of, kind of database we can able to get it from where exactly? RDS. But the question is one more question is pending. Where exactly we can able to store this? So Hollywood movies like in a Blu-ray printed movies. It is around more than 3 GB of files. Huh? Can able to inserting into the database? No. We can't be. That is the reason we are going to be using separate storage. Separate Story that is nothing but S3. S3 is a online storage. Best example for this Google Drive. How exactly you are uploading PDF document, video files, audio files in S3, Google Drive or not? Same way we can able to use S3 bucket. In entire world, in the world, the first two cloud service providers S3 bucket only. Then only remaining. So by helping of these are all the services. We can able to get infrastructure, either network storage or database, whatever maybe. On top of this infrastructure, we're going to be implementing our DevOps process. I'll repeat this point. By using AWS, we can able to get this infrastructure. On top of this infrastructure, we are going to be implementing an automated transparent pipeline by using DevOps. Once one, when you are going to be implementing this DevOps transform pipeline, we are going to be using this role, the tool stack. Got it very clearly by using AWS, we can able to get only infrastructure, but to automate the process, to automate that infrastructure, we are going to be using DevOps process. But if you want to implement DevOps process, we are going to be learning what these are all the tools. This is a, exactly what is DevOps, what is AWS. Got it. So before taking your questions, before uh, taking your questions, so let us revise one, my course overview. Let us revise my course overview.
This course is designed with what? Complete DevOps. Complete AWS. Complete DevOps, complete AWS, Linux basics only. And shell scripts also cover. The total duration of this course is what? Four and a half months. Plus. Linux basics, I will be covered. Shell script, I'm going to be covered. No programming like Java, .NET, Python, not required to learn to join this course. You require a laptop to practice daily. Freshers can join in this course. Experience also can join in this course. Any graduate, BSc Computers, BTEC, MTEC, MBA, any graduate can join in this course. So if you join in this course, which are all the benefits, guys, please. Daily class recordings will be received via Google Drive after payment. After payment. So up to from date of registration, 11 months access, it is officially, unofficially lifetime. If you ask your admin, they say only 11 months, but I never ever delayed any video, you can access. Resume preparation, yes. Interview question and answers. Four live projects will be covered, including this course duration, not separate time. 80% of soft materials, yes. Our course starts with very basic level and finish with an advanced. Each and every session is a practical. Don't expect like a PPT presentation like this. We're going to be do practical things. What I'm going to be deliver in the session, what I'm going to be deliver in the session, you need to practice on the same day. On a same day. On a same day. Daily, one hour we are going to be, one hour we're going to be spending and two hours per practice. Totally three hours you need to spend for a day. What I'm delivering in the class, you need to practice by, I'm gonna be share recording session, you need to practice. If any doubt, you can able to clap. Still, if you can't, you can't talk to me or I'll share your, share your screen, I can able to resolve your queries also. So class timing is eight to nine a.m. Eight to nine a.m. daily, Monday to Saturday. Sometimes we have a classes on Sundays also. But prior to one day, let's come in the class itself. So going to be paying 12,000 rupees for full DevOps, for full AWS, full AWS. Please make it note this. For daily recording sessions. Daily, only daily. So this is our admin information. Please, if anybody interested in this course, please call to them. Please be enrolled. So this is our admin information. I'm going to be share in the chat box. So this is the course content link. I'm going to be sharing the chat box, please be. So just if you copy paste this link, just to copy paste this link in the chat box or else any browser. So it will be redirecting into our drive. So the first document is what exactly? Course worry, which I have discussed right now. The second document is what? What exactly? DevOps content. The third document is what? AWS content. Please revise this once because if you know we can't discuss which are all the topics in demonstration, it will take one week demonstration. So I don't want to waste your time. Got it very clearly. Please revise what I'm going to be discussing in four and a half months. So 20 pages of DevOps content. 20 pages of DevOps content. 10 pages of AWS content. Please revise. Please revise this content. Okay. So each and every student, I hope you will receive this content. Offline student, by end of the session, you can be able to take it. So I hope you understood very clearly what is exactly for today's session. So today is the second demo. So oral option last session. Last session, please be access. Please be go to YouTube. So please go to the YouTube channel. YouTube oral miss last session. Online students or offline students. So go to the YouTube. Please type. Uh, Burgas off. Click on uh, Burgas off channel. Click on videos. 
in the video somewhere else ah devops with aws sir demo number 1 this is yesterday session by mr maha please verify with whether it is by mr maha or no so devops with aws demo 1 mr by mr maha the same way so today session also uploaded after this session if you want to revise please go through this once and please be joined by tomorrow so we going to be start a regular session by day after tomorrow tomorrow is the last day only three demos only there is no one week demos only. i don't want to uh, waste your time and day after tomorrow onwards our regular session will be started who are interested please be enroll today or tomorrow so choice according to your uh, so your budget what are maybe just man please talk to admin they will help you to do that how to pay how to payment please do that so please approach a admin so so please be enroll after enrolling only you are going to be receiving daily recording session so okay fine so that is an exactly for today session so tomorrow we going to be discussing up types of servers so we have pending physical servers virtual servers cloud servers what is the different those things how exactly so we going to be discussing for tomorrow so that is an exactly for tomorrow session yes, please so do you have any questions please thanks sai please thank you thanks for reply any questions please online students first let me clarify for online student then go for offline okay please ask please any question online students please do you have any questions please online students so mauni thanks thank you thank you mauni thank for uh, thanks for reply so kumar asked this question kumar asked this question after completion of this course how much experience can i show for a job for this if you complete this course my course you can feel inside 1.5 really you can feel one two years three years to four years you can manage but i am requesting each and every student attend a regular sessions and practice each and every day definitely get a job irregularity we can't help you without practice simply sitting in the classes you can't be get it please regular sessions attend and regularly practice easily can go go through that so anil so please talk to admin that is admin question please talk to admin once definitely i said very clear resume preparation i'm going to be helping you how to pay the fee please i share all your admin admin uh, say i'll 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 display in the screen please be get it okay. so please uh, contact our admin they will definitely they will help you please so full yeah vinay please talk to admin any technical question please ask me how to pay how much installment please approach to admin they will help you okay is there any placement providing after this complete placement assistance that there is no placement guarantee only placement assistance if you any placement regarding please talk to admin okay they will help you please Uh, mauni please talk to admin they will arrange a conference call i will talk to personal mauni so at 2 uh, o'clock or 3 o'clock for today please call admin they will arrange a conference call mauni i will talk to you personally for your career uh, guidance definitely so raj please uh, sir for doubts clarification can i join offline yeah you can offline online student for example who are available in nearby in hyderabad so monday to friday join online saturday come and come and meet me and clarify doubts sir with the lappy without lappy don't come please okay fine no where there is no wasting of time you know with laptop i can you can show the query then i can able to uh, what is the solution i can give easily the time is going to be saved that's what please rahul i already shared please one second Uh, this is course content link please i shared one more time please docker jenkins kubernetes covered in this sessions or missed yesterday's lecture uh, when i today also discuss what is a docker what is a kubernetes what exactly so we going to be spending docker and kubernetes one month 
in depth we're going to be discussing because of that those two tools are very important tools that's what more take more concentration of those tools also so uh, when i so we are going to be using cloud machines we can practice in virtual machines also not required so happily we can able to practice in aws how i will teach you don't worry in the coming sessions definitely definitely definitely